How's it going everybody? Drifty here from Driftwood, and this is a quick special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Sean Kirkbride, and uh, he asked one thing about the game uh, that I just released, Legends of Driftwood. He says, uh, one thing I really liked and wondered how you do it is how you put the words over junk pile and all that, and what he's referring to is uh, the event mini label. So Sean, um, I'll show you how to do this, super easy to do. Um, get the plugin from Yanfly. I'll put a link in the description below. It's the YEP underscore event mini label and you won't really have to change any settings but you can and here's the help file. Um, pretty short. You don't need to uh, do too much. The What you'll be using are these note tags right here and the uh, only note tag I use is this one. So you can change them around and change the font size and everything you want to do to them. So you can make the text basically however you want. You can also initiate these functions with the plugin command. Um, check out the help file. It's really, really short. Uh, put the plugins uh, below most of Yanfly's plugins. You can see um, this is not all of Yanfly's plugins. These are just the ones that are used for Legend of Driftwood. And it'll be in like the utility section of his page. I'll put a direct link to it. Um, so put the, the mini label, uh, event mini label in your plugin manager. Turn it on and then you're gonna create a new event. So the junk piles you see uh, are not the events themselves. The events are, it's basically an invisible event on top of the map. So you'll go to the draw layer and put uh, the event that you want to have. Uh, I think it's section B. Oh no, it's section C, so it's right here. And you draw that or whatever you want, you know, in your case, and that's gonna stay on the map. So even after the player uh, accesses it, it still shows like a pile of junk there, or whatever. Uh, and then you're gonna go back to, um, let's delete that. Go back to the event layer and create a new event, a blank event right on top of it. And uh, you can have it do whatever you want. Uh, award an item, show an animation, you know, toggle a switch or something. But um, all you have to do is insert a comment. So this event, <coughs> excuse me, this event is just showing the, the text on top, it's showing an animation, it's calling a common event, playing a sound effect, and then turning off the self switch. So the only thing you'll have to do for this to, to work is do a comment and maybe the self switch. So the comment, you just go to a new event, and you go to uh, tab one at the bottom under flow control, there's comment, and you make a comment, and inside that comment, you'll just, uh, as shown in the help file, you just open up a bracket and do mini label, uh, with the colon and then you type what you want right here so it says junk pile on mine because I have junk pile written in here if you wanted to say something different you just change this text to whatever you want you can also l include other note tags that that would change the font size you can basically copy paste from the help file to change that around and what makes it disappear after you access this is I have it the trigger action button so once the player uh, hits the action button it runs this event and at the end of this event is turning on a self switch. So I have a new event page on, over here and the conditions for this page is self switch A is on. So at the end of this event after it's done all of these things it's going to turn self switch A on and then it's going to be like this and there's no comment on the page on tab 2 that shows the, the title. So the title will disappear once you've uh, activated the event. So that'll let the player know that there's no longer anything in this junk pile. So uh, I'll show you the common event that I'm using for the junk pile. It's just a random loot script. Um, I'm not going to go all the way through it, but it's basically rolling a random number right here with the control variables. And then it's a conditional statement saying if it lands on a one, show this animation, award this item and let the player know they got that item. If it's a two, three, four, it's the same thing. You're just changing the text and the item. It's not, there's not too many items you can get in the junk pile. There's 14 different possibilities, but it's random loot that the player can get. Nothing that's going to uh, change the game too much. Just little things that they might, uh, might help them. Like this item will give them some stat boost. And, uh, they could sell any of this stuff or use it in uh, uh, alchemy. But anyway, we're off topic now. So I'll show it to you quick in game. Uh, what it'll look like. And then once the player activates it, what uh, what will happen, what it looks like. Uh, ignore the opening uh, thing, that's for the storyline. So we see that we have Junk Pile uh, as the event mini label right there. And if the player goes up to it and toggles the Junk Pile, well it's done all the things, called the common event, awarded the item, showed the animation, played the sound effect, 
Um, now, at the end of this show text, which is shown in the common event itself, after this is done, it's going to turn on self switch A. Hasn't done it yet, so it still says junk pile. But after this, it's going to turn on uh, control self switch A on, and then uh, it's going to read page two now because it reads from right to left. So it's, if, if the conditions in page two are met from the beginning, it'll only read page two. So it disappears. And that's how you do it, Sean. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you did like this, please give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Let me know you appreciate this sort of uh, video and you want to see more like it. Um, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. Keep the special requests coming or, you know, even if it's not a special request. If you have a question, let me know uh, if you have any ways to improve the games that I put out. Um, probably tomorrow or today sometime. I'm going to take a nap. Uh, we'll start doing the next project. Um, I might be live streaming it. Um, just turn on notifications if you want to know because I'm not going to make a video for every time I live stream. I know there's been a, a, a couple weeks or something where I haven't done anything for uh, like uh, tutorials, but I have been live streaming. So some of you have caught me on, on uh, Twitch.tv. So if you want to know when I'm live streaming, uh, just you know turn on notifications and you'll get an email. I don't live stream too often, maybe once or twice a week. But um, yeah, so you can uh, watch my YouTube uh, videos or catch me when I'm live streaming stuff. Sometimes I'm live streaming Final Fantasy XI or other games, and sometimes I'm doing uh, RPG Maker stuff. So thank you guys once again for watching. You're awesome. I uh, hope to see you in the next video. So we'll see you.